What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to place our air terminal to start our mechanical system. So after we learn how to create spaces and zones, so let us now place our air terminals. So our model, if we are going to check this one out in 3D view, so this is how it looks like. Right, very simple model. So what I want to do is from my ceiling dash mech, uh, ceiling dash mech view, I want to see here the plumbing fixtures, the lighting fixtures. Okay, so in my 3D view, as you can see, I have here my lighting fixtures. I also have my plumbing fixtures. So what I want is from my ceiling mech view, I want to see those fixtures. So for me to be able to do that, I'm going to adjust the view range. Okay, so how to adjust the view range? So let's check out the properties here of my ceiling plan. Move the slider down and then just look for view range. Okay, so just click edit here. And then if you want to learn more about the view range, you can just click this link here or you can also click show here so that it will give you an idea what's going on on your uh, view range. So what I want to do is I want to change the top primary range here. So instead of a level 2, I'm going to change this to level 1. So from level 1, I want to offset it by uh, 2,450, something like that. Or let's say uh, 2,540. Okay, so that's the range. So from level 1, I want to have an offset of 2540 okay and then for my cut plane i'll just make this zero okay so that's zero and automatically it it will make my bottom here zero as well okay now for my view depth for the level here so what i want to do is i'm changing that to level one as well but i want that to offset 2540 as well just like my top primary range and then my view depth uh, level here of 2540 by doing that if i'm going to select your apply and then okay i'm now able to see all the doors here as well as the fixtures okay so i have now here my plumbing fixtures right so in this view my Electrical fixtures are turned off. So if I'm going to open the visibility graphic override, so you can see here that my uh, electrical fixtures as well as my lighting fixtures are turned off because this template or my current view here is a mechanical view. You see the discipline here, it's uh, mechanical. Okay, now let us now place our uh, air terminal. Okay, so to place the air terminal, so I'm not going to place air terminal all over the place here. So I'm just going to place it here. Okay, because it's it's the same uh, principle. So when you learn how to place your air terminal, for example, in this area here, so it's the same as you place that to other part of this floor plan. So let me go to the systems tab and then let's click air terminal. And then if you have a an air terminal, uh, save in your project or in your folder so you can select load family here and then you can go to the air terminal so in my case i have the library i'm using revit 2018 library so i go to the libraries uh you see uh us metric and then let's look for mechanical and then mep air side components and then air terminals so you'll be able to see here different types of air terminals so i'm going to load my m supply diffuser hosted so i want that to be hosted on my ceiling okay and i also want to select let's say my return diffuser hosted as well okay what else uh -huh. exhaust diffuser hosted so you just hold your control so that uh, you'll be able to select multiple family in this folder. And then after that, just select open. 
and Revit will tell you that it's a 2018 and it is being upgraded to 2023. Now let's click the type selector here and then let looks, uh, let's look for M Supply Diffuser Hosted, which is this one. I'm going to select this and just make sure for the placement, place on face is selected. Okay. And then after that, so we are now ready to place it here. So let's say I'll just put it here. There you go. And then I'll just select here, modify. So after you place your uh, supply diffuser, you can also change the uh, flow of this one. So you can click your air terminal and then from the options bar, you can change the flow rate here. So let me change this to 150 liters per seconds or around 300 CFM for that one. Okay, and then after that, so let's say I want that to be aligned to my uh, ceiling so I can use the align tool. So let me go to the modify. So let's click align. Let's click this line here and then let's select the side that we want to align. And then I want that to be aligned here. Click that and then select the side of the air terminal that you want to be aligned to that line there. And there you go. And then select your modify. Okay, so that's it. So that's how you place your air terminal. So if you want to see that in 3D view, so this is how it looks like. So there's your 3D view and that's the one. Okay. Now, so let's go back again to our one dash ceiling Mac. So we are now going to copy this. I'm going to copy that here, two air terminals here, and then one air terminal here. Okay, so let's copy. So I'm going to select copy tool. Make sure multiple is checked. If you want, you can also check the constraint here to constrain the direction of your movement. So let me click this base point here and then let us now place it here one and two and then I want to place another one here three and then modify so that's it okay so now the next thing that we will be doing uh, we are going to add return air and exhaust air terminal so same procedure so we already load the air terminal that we needed so let's go back again to the systems tab if you are always using or most of the time you use the air terminal tool so you can right click the air terminal tool and then add to quick access toolbar so that it will be placed here so that even if you are on modify tab and then suddenly you realize you want to use the air terminal you don't need to go back again to the systems tab and then select the air terminal here so what you can do is let's say you are on modify tab you just need to go to your uh, quick access toolbar right so let me click that and then here i'm going to select my exhaust so let's search it exhaust there you go. So exhaust diffuser hosted. So I'm going to select this one. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure place on face is selected. And then I want to place it somewhere here. I'll just place it here. And then I'll just uh, select modify to terminate. And then I'm going to use again the align tool. So let's click align. Let's align there select this side here and then this one here there you go modify and then let's click this one again we can change the flow rate here so let's say i'm gonna make that 150 liters per second okay so that's uh, my return and i also want to copy this so copy and then select the base point and then we are going to I'm gonna copy it just somewhere here there you go and then just select your modify okay and now for the exhaust so let's say for example I want to place that one on my toilet area so let's say for example here okay so I wanna 
uh, select again the air terminal and then let's look for oh sorry so this one should be return okay so that one should be that this this one here this one here should that one should be the uh, should be the return so let me select modify here let's select this one instead of exhaust let's change that to return diffuser this one there you go and then this one as well so that will gonna be our return diffuser modify and then here so we're, we're going to place here an exhaust okay so you can also copy one of the air terminal and then after that you can just change the type so let's say instead of using the air terminal tool you can click the air terminal here copy that and then after that you just need to uh, select that and then let's say you want to place it here okay and then you select that and then change the type here so change that to exhaust there you go and then modify and then let's uh, change here the flow so let me just make it let's say 120 and then modify okay so for your exercise you can add more air terminals to complete the requirement of the HVAC system in our office space area but basically that's how you place your air terminal so it's not difficult so that is what you place first before you do your ducting either manually or automatically so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day